Listen. Listen. Hi guys and welcome to Crazy Vape Show number 16 if I remember correctly. So today we have myself obviously, Eat My Baby. We have Dummy that's got all the computer problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I can't dare to touch him anymore. I'm just watching now and hope everything <laughs> stays working. <laughs> And we have also got a guest on today. There we go, now I can see the screen. Good evening. How can you not see the screen? No, I can't see it now. Ah, but how couldn't you? It popped up a bit late. Ah. <laughs> I take it you're watching the YouTube screen. Yeah, no, but I'm going to... Yeah, it's, it was only for the chat, but I'm going to take the chat quickly out. I, I, I can't dare to touch and him anymore. I'm just watching now. <laughs> and hope everything... Can right. you mute your YouTube? Yeah, no, I did. I closed the YouTube now. <laughs> I just opened the chat. <laughs> so I can at least see the chat. But yeah, then I can remove these ridiculous head sound headphones. <laughs> so right. you can hear us. So obviously there won't be any feedback anymore. Yeah, good evening, guys, all the way from <laughs> South Africa. Beautiful Sunday we had down here. And uh, we had a lovely white meat yesterday as well. Yeah, in Belgium it was good weather too today. Really, 30, 30 degrees, real sunny. It was really good here too. Yeah, no, we sp spoiled with a bit of brilliant weather down here. Okay. It's a bit colder, but at least it's beautiful sunny. We bright outside. Bright a bit of Buddha boards and chops. Not that you guys know what it is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, barbecue, you barbecue with patties, hamburger patties. Or do you guys actually bright? Yeah. We make a fire and you take a grid and then you put some steaks on the the coals. Mm, no. <laughs> no, but <I'll> toys. <laughs> Sounds nice. <laughs> I did it easy, man. What did I do? I worked this morning in the shop, like usual, and in the afternoon I helped a little bit in the garden with the wife and went to a friend and came back and helped again a bit in the garden and set up all my computer, hoped it worked, and it didn't. <laughs> so that's what I did today. <laughs> Demi, what are you vaping on now? At the moment, I'm vaping at the Widowmaker from Vandy Vape, on the Flash VT1 from Umir, and my Orion today was all day in my pocket, and also the Cito SE from uh, Rinko, 
those were the two pod systems today and I had one other with me but not in my neighborhood now the armadillo but can't find it now so that was that's what I was vaping today and Wes what are you vaping? Well, I've got the, the V-God 200 Elite here and on top of it I've got my Torin and then basically what I keep on using I mean I, I just told somebody this week which uh, contacted me regarding um, the juice which I released but he's apparently the, the biggest high-end collector in South Africa and he just bought a mod he didn't want to tell me but it's nothing less than 40,000 Rand which basically means I think it's about three and a half thousand dollars which he paid for this thing but in uh, any case and I told him it's interesting no matter how much mods I have which is more expensive I tend to keep on using this small little guy and this is the, the Duffpo V which I think is an absolutely stunning cheap very cheap dual battery mod yeah. and I mean it's voltage and what you can put it off over there and put it on no five clicks crap but yeah, on top of that I've got my Torrent Beast as well and then took out my hot C R150 for a change and on top of that I've got the Mart the Vupu Mart tank which I'm actually impressed with the sub ohm coils because normally sub ohm coils don't deliver the flavor which rebuildable coils which actually can do that but this is fairly decent it's not too far behind from those guys so yeah and then Aspire sent me a few things though but I mean I don't know if you've seen these little mods but I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing around with them as well. And I did a review on the, the pot system which they actually sent, the AVP, this little guy. But anywho, that is basically that. You're obviously not interested in the juice which I'm vaping because you can't get the juice which I'm vaping. Uh -huh. Right, and I'm on my VK530 with, with the Falcon King tank on top. Smart. Battlestar Squonker with this modest bunker on top and I've also got my top side with the point blank on top that's got frozen pond in it and this has got a mixture of frozen pond and banana because I forgot it was banana it was in it and I put my frozen pond in it so that's a mixture of the two. <laughs> it's very, it's very difficult getting a very nice banana juice. Very difficult. Yeah, I'm not so fond of banana juices. That's the one I'm using, the King's Custard Range, and it's actually not too bad. Yeah, see, uh, there was a, there, there's a flavoring which I ordered. I actually, put it down here. I don't know if you guys order flavors to make your own juicer, but uh, there was a new, new one called. Vanilla pudding by Flavora, this thing. And what I did is I made myself a banana vanilla pudding, which is excellent. It's the first banana which I actually get which I can vape. But yeah, have a look at it. Flavora vanilla pudding. Awesome smell. I don't know if you guys can remember those packets which you got. You got those boxes of Moyers. Moyers, it was a powder. And then you mix it with milk. Uh, it's either chocolate or strawberry or caramel or um, vanilla in this case and then you put it in the fridge and then it sets not nothing no, no. no ring a bell no <laughs> not, I not say anything <laughs> yeah. but, but that vanilla pudding is, is, is exactly like the other one which we grew up with so that's very nice right, so we'll go to chart and see who's all in since we are wait we've got JD um, Harley Quinn, John Best here, Jim VV, Zor, uh, which is on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Harley, Kevin in mine. We've got, got Alan, got Graham, Running Gaming, Running Gaming, Stephen, my wife, <laughs> Christoph. Um, uh, Jesse G, Jis, Jesse Jis, <laughs> uh, and that's it, I think, in mine. Yeah. Good evening, all. Uh, Hi, and welcome to the show, even over yeah. <laughs> mega late, because uh, 
And, Danny, as usual. Yeah, I'm totally stressed out because everything crashed on my computer, so I have to re reinstall everything again in the last five minutes. So, <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, I'm a little bit quiet, but I'm a little bit stressed out. <laughs> I'm just calming down now. <laughs> So uh, what is the problem with pa the patrons? Um, how, how do you how do you want to set up? Have you set up the page now? Yeah, I've I've set up a Patreon page, but I I don't know really how it works. And I've got some followers who asked me how it works, and I couldn't answer because uh, yeah, I can I, I put some video on it, I put a recipe on it, and only for pa patrons. But I still I don't have one yet, but. But I don't know what is what you what you can do with uh, Patreon and what's the the meaning of everything. So oh, yes. The first thing you have to do is set up tiers. Tiers. So you can have yes. Yeah. yeah it's, basically, it's basically levels which you're gonna get um, uh, for for the amount of people. I mean, I I just made mine a single line corporal, double line corporal, and and so I went on lieutenant major just for the fun of it. So yeah. when you do somebody that becomes a patron for fifty dollars, a, a brigadier lieutenant or something like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, but I mean that that is basically the tiers what what uh, Mark is referring to. Okay. Yeah, but you've got an option there which will actually just show you. But I mean, um, the patron page is a very nice page, but you you already posted stuff. So all you need to do is after the videos um, at the, the bottom of this show, just provide a link to that patron. Of yours, your page. So yeah. just open it up. Make sure you're logged in, and then you copy the the, the URL, and then you paste it at the bottom. Um, and then the people that are interested in becoming patrons of yours, just click on that link, and there will be a huge button there that says "Become a Patron." Okay. But you have to set up a bank account. You must you must decide. Um, what what I personally did is because um, the the money which I get from my patrons I use for vape related gear. So what I did, I linked it directly to PayPal, so that um, a certain time of the month, which is around the sixth or the seventh, they take the money and they they put it in my PayPal account, and then I use that to buy from Chinese companies or wherever. Oh, and yeah. it is a nice no, so it doesn't come to my personal bank. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I I really didn't understand anything what I had to do to start up the page or anything so now yeah. now I know what I have to look at that's all that's what you'll see on the, yeah. on the left hand side of your your pages there's a lot of bullets post post is there and whenever you post something you can decide whether you want the public to see it whether yeah. you want you to your tier one tier two tier three patrons or whatever you you set set it over there okay. I've have certain recipes which I know is extremely good which you can actually bottle and sell it commercially um, so my patrons from the ten dollars on, I make those recipes available, okay. and anything else which I think is very nice and very good, I make it available to to the rest of the the, the patrons. There. Okay. All There's right. not a lot I make available to the public because I mean they can watch me on YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mine's. I've only got three tiers. I've got a two or five, not ten. And how I do it is, if they're in the two, they get their name entered once into the giveaways. The five is, I think it's three, and the yeah, ten is five. Two, three, and five or something, I think. Because I, I, uh, I was watching yours to how to become a patron and <laughs> what you had to do. So. <laughs> yeah, because that's all that's here for, for giveaways for them. The money that I take from it is yeah. getting saved up on Patreon. Once I've got enough to buy a kit, or a mod, I'll buy it, review it, and then one of them will win it. Okay. On top of the monthly giveaway that I do for them anyway. Except if it's nice, then you keep it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I use their money to get it, if I like it, I'll go and buy it again. That's only fair. But you, you say you actually make your prizes available to everyone, local and overseas patrons, and then they've got the option to pay for the for the shipping. Uh, patrons at the moment have only got in the UK, so I'm not bad there, but they still have to pay for the shipping. The normal giveaways is done on my banter, or vlog, or whatever you want to call it, and it's open worldwide when I day one, and obviously they have to pay shipping. Alright. 
Yeah, which can be very expensive. <laughs> Being in South Africa, because everything is far away from South Africa. Yeah, we can't. I mean, it's just, it's just the South Pole, which is more south than us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the tip of South America as well, but yeah. And we're right at the bottom, and I'm in Cape Town. I'm <laughs> right at the bottom. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just so that's a bit too far there. But any, any who? All right. That's so did you guys receive anything lately, which is interesting? Hmm. Um, some coyotes. With my name on them. Do you ever use that? What, the coyote? Because I've got about three and I just don't ever use that. Yes, I do. All the time. Uh, me neither. <laughs> I don't use it either. <laughs> but they're for giveaway. Yeah. Because they're obviously my sponsor. I also got in the two RDAs from Miss Modus. The bunker and the point blank. So I'm Test name the now to review on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I got in was uh, from Hotel for the recurve duo, but I all already reviewed it. And uh, something is on the way. Tomorrow something will. will uh, the DHL uh, gave me a link that tomorrow something will arrive, but I don't know from who. <laughs> Always a surprise. Oh, that's nice. Didn't you get a text from DHL saying who it is? Nah. Nah. There are three things I'm expecting and Monday is going to come one, so I don't know what. Because so. I've got one coming tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I've got it on this computer. Well, I've, I've seen this by Vladen. I don't know if you guys ever tasted this small little guy. The Vladen, yeah, I've got it, got it too. I've got a, a contact with uh, with Vladen. It's a nice pot system. I really like it. But I, I, I wanted to bring it into Belgium, but uh, their wholesale prices were too high to to uh, to can to uh, sell it in the shop. It, it would be too expensive in Belgium. So that's that's the problem with it. Why why we don't have it in Belgium, the Vladen? <laughs> Because wholesale for Belgium, the, the amount our wholesales take in is not big enough mm -hmm. to get the price down enough. Mm -hmm. So, but but do you do you guys get nice flavor from these things? I don't know. Yes, it always worries me. It, what makes it difficult for me as a reviewer is because we've got all these fantastic atomizers, which deliver these great flavor, and now you get the spot system, which is totally muted in flavor. Yeah. When you compare it to those things, but when I watch somebody else's review on something which I'm going to review, they say the flavor is great. Then I can't understand it because the flavor sucks. I, I always that's that's why I only vape tobacco honey rooster tobacco in all my pot systems. I only yeah, use that. It's not going to throw in you quickly. Yeah. yeah, I'm the same. I use this dragon dream. Yeah, I know that too. I've got it here. I found it in a bag somewhere when you showed it last time. <laughs> the little bag, and I found it. It's not bad, but it's too fruity. S -s Even that is too fruity for me in a pot system. I, I only like my honey roasted tobacco, and uh, every time I do something else in it, uh, half of a pot, uh, half of a pot faked, and I'm tired of it. So, and I use my frozen pond and RDA, RTAs, top oils. So I can flavor profile with that how it should taste, and that's how I do mines. Uh, uh, the, the only thing I vape in it is the honey rooster with CBD or CBD. I also use that, but that's not for flavor. So uh, there, are, there are not a lot of pot systems who deliver good. For only the caliber from a uh, Ewell, the yeah, cali the yeah. Caliburn. Yeah, and, and, and this AVP as well impressed me. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, Caliburn is very good, yeah. Yeah, it has a really nice flavor for a pot system. For I a never pot got one. For a pot system. <laughs> but I think people, people need, to, need to say that. Because now they go out and, and like this Vupu Drag, oh my word, I did a review on that today, the Nano. 
That one. Yeah, but I mean, I, I think its flavor is worse than most of those which I got. I mean, it's a beautiful little device. I think the I mean, flavor is actually not too bad on it. Mm. I don't have it, so I can't say it. <laughs> but it's a lovely looking little device. Okay, let's try this. This is a full body tobacco, 35 milligrams a night. Uh, if this is not going to work inside this laden, nothing's going to work. We only have 20 milligrams, so <laughs> we can't go higher here. Yeah. Did you get the baby trio? The what? Baby trio. No. Where is? Where? Sorry. No. <laughs> baby trio. Yeah. What's that? that one. No. Did you not get that? From Vupu? Yes. I don't get anything from Vupu. I actually won that little thing in a competition. Ah. So no, I'm not too bothered. Things I like it. The, the people normally contact me. I, I don't contact companies. They they come across my reviews and then they ask me. Des Desire contacted me now. Desire made that that skonker at uh, the rage. Um, they've got a new pot system out. They asked me if I wanted to test it. I said, yeah, sure, any any time. Just send along one extra one for a giveaway, and and then I'll do it. Yeah. We're uh, we're a little bit too small for that, I think. So some companies contact me directly, <laughs> yeah. but most of the time I keep harassing them. So I, I'm not yeah, begging yeah. for stuff, but I'm always starting chatting with them, and after a while they send me stuff. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I, I don't want to do too much because I mean I'm a, I'm a I'm a teacher as well. Yeah. We also do DJ work, me and my son. So. If I get asked or ask companies and they keep sending stuff, I won't be able to do reviews on it. So I'm very happy with the pace it's going now. But you guys, this is your job. This is what you love no, it's doing 24 7. I can only, I love doing <laughs> it's it. It's not my job. It's not my job. <laughs> we don't earn anything. <laughs> it's just That's a hobby. hobby. <laughs> it's a, yeah, for me too. <laughs> it's a, ta a very time consuming hobby. <laughs> I still work uh, six days out of seven in the shop, so it's a hobby. <laughs> yeah, but it's a vape shop. A vape shop, yeah. Yeah, but see, that's still, you're surrounded by the vaping element. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Mark? Hatch GV driver. you fisherman. Hatch GV driver. Okay. Artex. But then you've got a lot, lot of time to think about shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I've got, I've got every day. I've got two hundred and forty kids in front of me. There's no time to think about <laughs> anything. And by the time you get home, you want to relax. <laughs> kids, kids are they, they demanding. Yeah, and I've got thousands of cars going past me at stupid uh -huh. speeds. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, John, I've got the, I've got this the 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 Nord as well. But I mean, yeah, there it is. But Ah, uh, I don't know. Demi, you getting a new pod system for Smart? Uh, not yet. They said they were, go were going to send me the one, uh, the last, uh, the new pod system, but maybe it's that that comes tomorrow. I don't know. Because <laughs> most of the time, Small One just sends me the stuff without uh, any warning. Uh, and if another company, like, I'm expecting something from Kais, but they send me the, the, the link to the, the tracking and they still didn't send me anything so this tracking just came in so it could be it's more from small ant that uh, will arrive tomorrow so mm -hmm. uh, I hope so Our, a rebuildable pot system I looks interesting I can't remember who um, small ant used for the partials if it's DHL or not uh, what? I didn't. It didn't <laughs> came true. <laughs> I don't know if Small Ant used DHL for the shipping, or if it's uh, UPS they use. I can't remember. No, oh, me neither. Okay. Uh, no, for me it's D DHL always. 
because the company is coming from is Sharo Intel S I H E R O in Hong Kong T N L yes yeah for me it's something it's similar I think <laughs> it, it it sounds similar Shahiro right. International or something that will be. Okay, now I've got something called Brain Freeze inside this Nord. <laughs> brain Freeze. Brain Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> that and means it must be a team of cool vapor. That's what it sounds like. It's usually an ice freeze when you eat too much ice cream or eat it too quick. Brain freeze. I'll have to see how this thing goes. <laughs> oh, I hate so. I hate brain freeze stuff. Uh, the company of mine is coming. Wait. Uh, industrial supply to it? No, it's something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why they can't use their name. Biotortech. Biotortech. I don't know. Yeah, we'll turn on them. You're gonna enjoy the Caliburn more than you're gonna enjoy this guy. If you think this guy's nice, then you're gonna love the Caliburn. Yeah, Caliburn really for me it gives the best flavor for a, a pot system at the moment. Yeah. Um, See, now I get the freeze, but I don't get the fruits. <laughs> freeze and nick. That's what I, what's I get. What I get from is. You know what Smart should have done with a new pod. Uh -huh. have uh, external battery so you can unplug it for the pod itself put another battery in it to charge it uh, so you charge it away for your pod I'm just waiting for for this guy to be, to release that I must bring out a rebuildable one yeah. for the Ross Viper yeah I'm, I'm using it daily the Orion no, I'm but not going to get rid of this little guy but the new pods aren't as good anymore the uh, uh, the the new pods of the of the DNA burn quicker than before. Yeah, yes. but that's why I say that they're working on a rebuildable one. No, which you can put in your own coil. That would be yeah. nice. That's, that's awesome. That's what Smoent is coming out with now. It looks. Is so, it? Yeah, that, that's their no pot system. It almost looks the same as the Orion with a rebuildable uh, pot in it. So that's brilliant. And then, then I must get it. Somebody mentioned you in the in the the chat about it. Smoent. Yeah, yeah. It's, great. it's got a rebuildable deck. Yeah. Graham, yeah, any idea what the thing's called? Uh, what was it again? Just pop up my internet over here. Wait. Okay, Smo and. Okay, RBA pod. It should probably do the job. Char and money, I think. No. No. Uh, wait, uh, Pasito. The small Pasito. And Pasito. Coming yeah. soon. Small and Pasito. Replaceable coil, support RBA, leak proof, polymer technology. Now what? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Because <laughs> then at least, as I said, can you can make a nice small nano Clapton or nano alien. Yeah, that uh, we were. I was waiting a long time for a, a rebuildable pot because pots are selling like hell in Belgium now. I hate it, but <laughs> and there's a new law in Belgium, so we can't sell at the moment. We we we're not allowed to sell any RDA or anything because they're all on sure. the black on the blacklist for the moment. So yes, did, yeah. did, did, did you ever look at the Pasito? You know what it looks like? The Pasito? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's almost the same like the Orion. Here, but I love the black version. Look at the col color scheme on the black version. Oh, my word. Now oh, I'm going to have to get myself one. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I hope it's tomorrow in the, in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know when they're releasing it, though. <laughs> but yes, I know. See what it looks like. Oh, yeah, 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 here it is. You. 
going to have to be a tiny coil. <laughs> but yeah, at least you got the option. That's brilliant. What would the diameter approximately be for that, that head? Centimeter? I don't know. Mm, no, I think it'll be a wee bit more. I think it could be probably about 1.5, maybe 2 centimeters max. No. no I don't think it would be that wide. No. Mm. Yeah, no, I like the look of this. That is good. That is good news. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, another nice thing which happened this weekend is I actually got my 5,000 sub. Nice. Long lost. <laughs> and that was my aim from the beginning. To be the the, the uh, Vapor Review in South Africa with the most subscribers. It shows you how, how few people in South Africa vape. If 5,000 is I've, the most. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the most uh, for Vapor Reviewers in Belgium and I've got... <laughs> Almost thirteen hundred. <laughs> so you see how how small in Belgium the vape scene is. <laughs> yeah. So and I'm and now I'm the only one in Belgium who does it in Dutch. So that's another yeah. thing. There's another reviewer, but he's here, he does everything. It's Jim. He does it in English. So yeah. and, I, and I don't know any other at the moment that have a YouTube channel to review. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reckon that pod um, RBA is going to be about 2 centimeters because it's a C milk cartridge and the drip tip looks like a standard 510. Alright. So no, I think this, 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 is, this is going to be a winner. That's what I said from the beginning. They um, must bring out something which you can rebuild because that Will be the the flavor is going to be more superior than these coils, definitely. Yeah, but yeah. in Belgium, a lot of the vape scene is going back to pot system, even pre-filled pot systems, because everybody's too lazy to fill their own tank, and it's yeah, it's not going the right way. It's all going the vibe way, the tobacco industry way, and that's uh, not a good thing, I think. So. And also with the new list they, they made and uh, the government wants money from everything and gonna ask taxes on everything. So I don't think the vape scene in Belgium is going the right way at the moment. So <laughs> <laughs> all those pot systems. Okay, for shops, and if you sell a lot of pot systems, it's not bad either because people still come back for all their cartridges and it's a small investment. So it works for shops, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of all the pots and everything. No, uh, no. I mean, if you vape, if you vape on the devices we vape, let's face it, pots suck. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I use it for my nicotine shots. It's gotta be honest about it. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I just feel there's only one purpose for a pot, and that that is for a guy that smokes that wants a transition to what we have. But I mean, I don't self see myself. Maybe when I'm on a school bus taking the kids to cricket, and I'm sitting right at the back of the bus. <laughs> And I'll pop a scallopy over there, but <laughs> uh, I'm always vaping my Orion because if not lately, if you walk on the street and you you vape with your big device and you get, uh, you blow out a big cloud, everybody starts annoying you and everybody starts uh, talking about, about uh, behind your back and uh, it's. it's Oh, everybody starts vaping the pot systems, even the people with big devices, they just vape their big device at home, in their own home or in the garden, but when they go out on the street, everybody starts vaping pot systems, because it's socially accepted to vape a pot system, but it's not accepted to vape with the big devices. So no, I vape big one device almost everywhere. <laughs> Question for you, as a bullet box, a pod system. Is a, is a what? Bullet box. A pod system? Yes. No, I don't think so. Mm. 
No, I don't think it's a bad system. Because I mean, near, near the this I, it needs bot systems. To me, is something which is going to take high free base nick or nick salts. But you can vape normal juice through your bullet box and get very good flavor. But you'll probably be able to do that with a new smart as well. Depending on what coil you put in it, depends what juice you'll go using it. Well, I doubt you'll ever get a pot system that is as expensive as the bullet box in any case, though. No. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've never owned a bullet box. Neither have I. I don't, I don't I know. It either, so I don't know. It's very, very good. It's, it was a huge hit in South Africa. There's a lot of vapors that's got bullet boxes. Even the clones from SXK as well. But uh, yeah, it is a nice looking device, I've I got to say. I wouldn't mind getting one. Just to see what it's all about. Um, Graham, um, and I see one eyed vapor and Graham Spears. You guys have got bullet boxes. What um, tanks do you have got inside? Extra sets of the borrowers, or what do you guys call all that stuff? What? Huh? Now there's a there's a the, the, now that the atomizer which you put inside. They've got the, the different yeah. units they put inside. From the billet box. For the billet yeah. box. I don't I think know. The, Kanga Tech Rebuildable, and then they brought out Exo Set, and then they brought out this and that. I I, I don't have it, so I I can't talk about it actually because I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I just look. Yeah, um, what Graham and them have. Graham and my shop. Right, so Graham, what's your coil you're using in your billet box, or what's the Rebuildable coil that you're using? I, do, I know it takes a wee while between us and uh, going to them, but it should reply soon, hopefully. I'm going, I'm going to the toilet for a second, wait a sec, because... Uh, we really wanted to kind that dummy. Uh, wait a second... I know, Mark, there's a guy in South Africa that, that um, he gets special aliens made for him. But I think it's it's dual 30 gauges and then it's got f 40 gauge aliens around it. Yeah. And he makes himself nice little coils from those, but it looks beautiful. I'm all with it. Because I reckon a billet box, if you put, say, a 1.5 ohm coil in it, then you can turn your airflow down and make it a mouse long so it's like a pod system. I know you're better way. A lot of room for it. Yeah. But you could potentially make it into a pod system. An expensive pod system, but you can still do a pod system for it. But what, according to you, gives you the best flavour? What setup? What setup for best flavour? Um, a single coil tank RTA. Even better than dual coil RTAs? As long as the chamber is small enough, yes. Better than the Tokugawa or the or the or the goon, the OG goon or the Kennedy. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I seem to get better flavour from tanks than what I do RDAs. Is it? Nah. nah. I still get my best flavour from my reloads, Tokugawa. Um, but, uh, the flavour is very close. On the Torrent Beast, it is super close. That's a good RTA. I That's love Torin the Elder Dragon. Because it's so small and the chamber is so small, I actually get good flavour from it. Have you tasted the the, the, the Rebirth RTA from Mike Vapes and the Vape? No. 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 Also, very, very nice RTA. I'm taking it, Graham's away. Graham Spears, if you're still in chat, can you please put a comment on? No, I think he left. The one Be I'm going to start testing this this week is the one you uh, reviewed uh, last week, I think. The Dow 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 or something RTA from Asmodus. The dog. Dog, yeah, yeah, yeah dog. 
Such a strange name. That's <laughs> 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 uh, why I wasn't too impressed with the point blank though. I bought myself that and, and reviewed it. No, the, uh -huh. it's it's still from uh, the expo, but I still have to build it for the first time. So I'm gonna test it this week. And the lava tank also, because did 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 you get the lava tank from a uh, cool vapor at the expo, Mark? No. No. I only got the. What did I get? Lucky you, I would say. I the put it over the RDTA. <laughs> <laughs> I, I vaped the lava, and it, I vaped half of the tank, half of it, think, I think, and the coil is already burned. <laughs> yeah. So, gonna try the second coil and gonna see what what it does, but. It, it it didn't even was a, a really um, a, a really sweet juice or anything. It was a juice normally that, that lasts your core for three weeks or something. And yeah, I said the first day I started vaping it, and yeah, half of the tank in the core was burned. So <laughs> you guys, have you guys seen those round coils a spy A is playing with now? I'm gonna show you quickly. The ram coil. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Rhythmic had a tank that they used them as well. The Revo, but, uh, the Revo tank also. Like Must looks like a stove plate. Yeah. yeah. The Revo tank also uses it, uh, and the the, the, the it's, as long as the tank is quite full, it's okay because every time you take a pull, you you yeah. your your uh, your device. Um, Goes on the side and it, it it hits the coil, but when it's when your tank is over half and almost empty, you always have to turn around your uh, device to get your yeah. coil wet. So, mm. yeah, but uh, I mean, uh, even if it's juiced up, the flavor sucks. Yeah, the uh, flavor, uh, uh, it's uh, very muted. Yeah, uh, uh, Vandy Vape also made an RDA with it once. It's in here at the moment, and uh. uh. No go. No, uh, the the Mace RDA from Vandy Vape also used that kind of a coil. It was an RDA, but with that ki kind of coil in it. The yeah, the Mace RDA I think from a uh, Vandy Vape. Maybe was... I should vape this little thing on 80 watts quickly. Put some juice on that coil. I don't know, but my YouTube I've just been signed out yet for some reason. And I can't get seen back in. <laughs> so I can't see my chat. I can't uh, see your I don't even know if I'm getting your chat or not. Everything is pr pretty quiet in chat now. It's very quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I think YouTube has done something. Are, are you sure we're still online? I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I can't see. <laughs> Because I mean that your chat's been standing still for about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've just had a message from John saying that can you put in chat? We are live. We are still live. We just can't put in chat. Yeah. <laughs> oh YouTube's kicked everybody off. <laughs> Why isn't there any chat? Yes. Right, guys. Sorry about the chat not working. Um, yeah. It's out of our control. I can't get signed into YouTube. <laughs> For some strange reason, um, but we will all try and get chat back up, hopefully soon. Once YouTube fixes it, this tank sucks. Not a not a nice tank. Um, right, gonna try to. Yeah, 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 right. I'm signed back in again, so I've got signed back in. Mm. So chat should hopefully work again. I can't see any chat you yet. You may so. have to refresh your page. Yeah. Okay, let's um, go. Um, I'll open it up quickly. Mm. But when I... Close that chat. Shame, maybe Graham has kept on responding and we... I think we're ignoring them. Yeah, <laughs> and you for some no. strange reason because they're getting messages up and get shot back up yeah. right. 
I right. also got a message uh, they can't put anything in chat. Mm. Yeah. So it's not your problem, right? Um, no, chat's still down. Because yeah. I just tried to post something in it. You know, the whole, my YouTube is <laughs> just down now. No. <laughs> Alright, YouTube is back. Yes. Yeah, but they can't put anything in chat. No. No, I think YouTube's done a reboot or something. Have you guys also got so many videos that it's been demonetized? None of mine's are monetized. Yes, they're demonetizing left and right. Um, I don't have enough subs to have monetized. I don't have enough uh, uh, view hours. <laughs> I need 4,000 <laughs> viewing hours uh, a year and I've got 3,600 and a bit, so... <laughs> I'm uh, missing viewing hours, so I need more people watching my videos longer. <laughs> That's the thing. Well, my YouTube just died. Sorry, we um, couldn't log you on at this time. Please try again later. That's what mine's just come that way. But the video is still running because I've just clicked on it. And it's. That's what I'm getting on this side. Is that screen. Um, uh, somebody asks, was asking in the chat if Lemon Bomb from Frontline is a coil killer. Does anybody know Lemon Bomb from Frontline? Nope. No. <laughs> nope. Never heard I of don't, him. I don't know. I don't know, Kevin. He asked me in a messenger. Because, yeah, chat is still doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he can. Maybe you can order a bottle and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it back up. I think. Mm. Or maybe not. Because I've now got the wee wheel turning around. Chat. It's still the same thing. Nothing new in the chat, so... Yeah. Uh, nothing new in the chat. Uh-uh, now YouTube is dead. Yeah. I'm still getting YouTube. Ah, mine's probably, it's probably been hacked. <laughs> All the rest is still open. Uh, I still got YouTube, but only my uh, life. I can't watch yours. <laughs> it doesn't Why? work. I don't know. I'm getting both. Uh, I only got mine. And yeah, chats are dead. Um, can't chat. I'm getting bored. Um, I only got mine, and uh, chats are dead. Yeah, chats um, are gone. <laughs> can't chat. I'm getting bored. Uh, I hear myself now. <laughs> no, 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 you won't. <laughs> I just, I just tried to open the chat, but uh, uh, no, it's not working. No, I think chats are gone for tonight. Yeah. Um. Sorry about the chat. John saying that the shows keep buffering. Yeah. Okay. Um. So obviously it's something to do with YouTube, not us. No, it's YouTube. All right. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about YouTube, I'm afraid. No. Ah, it wouldn't be the crazy vape show if. Nothing went wrong. That's <laughs> true. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's twice the night songs went wrong. I've we'll started off with your computer, yeah. and then obviously YouTube has stopped working yeah. for some reason. I, I started um, looking around today for a new computer. I start looking around online what I need and what it would cost me for a a good computer. So. <laughs> Oh, Demi, you've been looking for a new computer for three months already. Huh? Uh, now you've been looking for a new computer for a long time now. Yeah, I know, but uh, first looking for the money and then <laughs> buy a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting for my fee from uh, the Armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> you said Ambitious Viper um, gave it a good review. Yeah. And did you see the review of Jay Hay? <laughs> I, I, I saw it, yeah, after yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, I read your, your rant on, on Facebook. 
Yeah. Then I went to go and watch the video. Yeah. So uh, I was happy, and I, I told Derek uh, Ambitions Vapor. I was really happy with his positive uh, review. And there's another one. Uh, I think he's from the Philippines or something. And he made a review, and he's got already 32,000 views or something. And it also was a positive <laughs> review. But I don't understand what he's saying, but it was a positive review. <laughs> so Was he smiling a lot? Yeah. <laughs> so I think it was positive. So and, and, and also the comments all were real positive and a lot of uh, thumbs up. So I think that was a good one too. But at the moment, it's pretty quiet on uh, Umir's side. So... Right guys, if you go along to my Facebook page, that's facebook.com stroke eat my baby, I have put a thread there for you to put your chats in. <laughs> okay then. So it's always has given them some way to contact us. Yeah, they're in my messenger, but... <laughs> got yeah. My, I've got my phone here, but I need to put it in a... I need to put it in because. Yeah. Mark, where's your Facebook link? Um, you'll find it in a description on any more reviews or just go to uh, Facebook stroke eat my baby. Alright, so it's, it's not on the internet, okay. No, I don't share the group uh, or my page in groups and the uh, shows actual descriptions oh. uh, uh. and it's a thread called please chat here for the show but Demi, Demi what, did, what, what did Jay call you? he couldn't pronounce your name no I know <laughs> uh, I, I chatted with him but uh, it's 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 behind. <laughs> Not gonna talk about it in the show anymore, cause. Well, that's probably the reason why he didn't come onto the show last last Sunday. Cause <laughs> you were afraid that you would uh, corner him, <laughs> <laughs> make him uncomfortable. Yeah. Is it this? Is it your page or? My page. Oh. I just want to see because anybody can go into the page. Um, I can't remember if my my group's closed or not. And it's cheap, man. This pasita is thirty-five dollars. I've not got any comments. So if you just go on to www.facebook.com stroke as in oh, slash down slash yep. e a t m a b b found it <clears throat> I would put a link in chat but I can't <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Is this still nah? Well, there again, if the show's buffering all the time and they have to keep refreshing it, um, have they actually got to hear it? That's another thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, please chat here. See, now they're all angry at you. Now they're not even chatting there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. If it's always buffering. They won't probably hear. No. Uh, started that post on my page. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else. No. I to get notification out to them. What do you think? I see you reviewed that Hexa V2 pod as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's better than the first one. Yeah, that's true. It's from my. It's from the neighbors. <laughs> it's from a, a Belgian a wholesale who brings it out, and it's from a, the neighbor town here. 
So, okay. but yeah, it's better than the first one. The first one had a lot of problems. So I've got it here. We sell it a lot in Belgium. It's a Belgian product, so we sell it a lot. It's a it's a best selling pot in uh, Belgium, and with uh, except of the vibe, the one the only one we sell in the shop with uh, pre filled pots. So we sell this really a lot in the shop, and it's easier for uh, starting vapors who are still afraid of vaping. They don't have to do anything. Eh? So. What is your thoughts on the Kelpie? I don't have the Kelpie. I asked uh, Vic <laughs> to let them send me one or the, or something, but I can't. I I can order it online uh, from a wholesale in in Holland, but we can't sell it in Belgium yet. So at the moment, I didn't order it yet, so I didn't test him. I actually think it's quite good. The flavor for it is anyway. Because I've got it here. Yeah, I saw you also did a review. But are, are you using it? At the moment, no. Because I've got stuff to test. At the years. Uh. I probably will. I'm using this Falcon King until the coil <coughs> away. And then I'll just put it out on the shelf and I'll, and I'll start using it again. Uh, I, I still have to re-rig the FP and I'm still testing it and I still can't <laughs> get him rigged right so now <laughs> I did it four times and <clears throat> now I'm, he's standing here next to me looking at me <laughs> <laughs> I want my review but uh, <laughs> but you both of you have have had the Toran RTA the Toran Beast no uh, oh word Toran no, not the torrent. No, I yeah, didn't have. Just get it. It's cheap. Cheap. Get it and put yourself some dual coil Nichromatic aliens in there, three millimeter diameter. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> it's just a top cap that gets something, some used to, to actually putting back on again. But I mean, <laughs> if you if you just go anti-clockwise until you get the catch, then it's very easy. But uh, and I think it's amazing, amazing RTA. This, I mean, it has to be. I've got three of them, <laughs> yeah. and all three of them are being used. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> I love it. So yeah. I use this as a as my benchmark RTA for when I test RTAs, and the reload is my benchmark RDA. Hmm. And I, the, I like the Widowmaker. Um, I just reviewed it, but he really surprised me. And, uh, and definitely with the uh, with the cap with the smallest airflow, he really surprised me of uh, of the flavor he gave. So I'm still using it at the moment because I like the flavor of it. That surprised me. And then the passage. Everybody was so excited about the passage RDA and. I don't think it's it's a bad one, but I'm not really uh, convinced about the flavor he gives. So, and I'm yes, I'm not really convinced about the passage. Uh, the whole I like the how it looks and in the, in the airflow is pretty. Uh, 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 how you, oh my god! <sighs> pretty special <laughs> but yeah I don't I don't really like his flavor and the recurve dual yeah I think he, Mike Faves made a, a hit again because the recurve dual I really like I really like the single recurve but the dual yeah the airflow is good again so yeah I really like that one at the moment and then my own armadillo, of course, but <laughs> I can't always <laughs> say it. <laughs> have you have you ever tasted the 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 Tokugawa? The the what? Tokugawa. No. I've got yeah, I've got two of them as well. But you must look at the interesting old deck. It's got it. It's it's a twenty four, but it's got a twenty two millimeter. It's difficult to see now. Yeah. But it's, it's weird. It's very difficult to build on this guy, but it's it's fantastic. 
awesome. Mm. I actually ordered it from Canada. Uh, that's our problem. We can't order anything. Uh, we can, but it's always a gamble. So that's why I never. Yeah. No, no, but my brother-in-law stays in Canada. Mm. So I send him the links, and then he orders it. And when he comes to visit <laughs> in Cape Town, he brings <laughs> it. <laughs> so, but that's yeah, no, these car was a very good. <laughs> Ish Makadush. Put some uh, lemon and lime in here. Mm. Somebody commented. Awesome man. Nice times. Yeah, no, I can't see no comments <laughs> and no. Jim, Jim, uh. The, uh, Jim, the the reviewer, he, uh, he asked it. He asked in my, uh, in my on my Facebook if we couldn't uh, uh, sp uh, take the show two hours later because it's too good <laughs> outside and he, he doesn't want to sit in front of the computer. The weather is too good. <laughs> it's it's no. it's still twenty five or twenty six uh, degrees outside, so it's really summer in Belgium today, and tomorrow it's. Uh, 10, 10 degrees less, so everybody is uh, enjoying the sun today and enjoying the good weather <laughs> because next week it's, it's going to rain. So, yeah, but listen, guys, I've got to go now. Okay, I've still got marking to do. <laughs> These exam times for me. All right, no See problem. You. See you later. It's nice having you on. Invite, yeah, let me know again if, if you're. Guys, don't pitch up so I can come and talk nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Alright, that's gone. Yeah, now we have to try and fix. That's because you're we. Uh, big. Because oh you're bigger than me, but all right. Yeah. Yeah, I have to set uh, all the settings in uh, VC again because I really <laughs> all uh, I really reinstalled it, so I have to set the settings of the camera and everything. So. Uh, well, I've still affects my camera because I'm so the wrong way around. Mm, I'm the wrong way around now too. <laughs> no, to your camera is how, how it's aimed us. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's okay. what your camera's yeah. always been. Yeah. That. Yeah. That, oh yeah. That's right. That, yeah. No. No. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, my monitor is usually on the right side as you look at the screen, but now it's on the left. Okay. It's it's difficult without the chat. Oh, test. Somebody tested uh, something. Somebody in tested on yours. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say or, or, or anymore either. Uh, what can we talk about? Well, I've got a sub during this show. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Considering YouTube's not working, right? Mm. But my subs always go up with two or three, and then one goes down again, and yeah. Mm. Mine's is the same. Uh, all right, it's it's difficult without a chat. <laughs> I know. So, I've even tried to get on my page where they can go and post. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's not working very well. Oh no. Um, it's starting to rain here. I think. Wait, I have to go see and uh, close my window, I think. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I've got two charts on mines. Is that it back up and running now, though? <laughs> Let me just check. YouTube. Sign in. It's starting to... No, I still can't sign into YouTube. I've got two charts. Yeah. Come up. 
how old they are, I don't know. Um, but I keep mm. getting an error message with YouTube. Oh, I've got an R sub as well. <laughs> That's two of a journey show. <laughs> All right, not bad. <laughs> uh, I just kind of get signed into YouTube. Which is going to be a nightmare when I end the show because I have to go in and manually tell it to stop. Yeah, I think we better quit the show also. <laughs> I don't have anything more to say and so we better just right. wrap it up. We don't have chat anymore. So <laughs> Vape around. What happened was Vape around do the magazine. You've seen the bus at Expo. Yeah. Right. Um they do the magazine all over Europe. Yeah. Two people from Spain said joined them and said um, we'll do your publication and whatnot here for you. Obviously it'll be in Spanish. Mm. Um and they have eventually turn around and try and to take the Vaporound name as their own. Yeah, but didn't Vaporound uh, regis register the name already in, in Spain? Well, they've registered it in Britain for the full Europe because since we are part of the EU, yeah. when you register anything, it's actually for the full Europe and not just the UK. Oh, right, yeah. It's the same over where you are, if you register for anything. Um, for like a yeah. name for the last 10 years or whatever it is I think it's 10 years yeah. um, you have that name for 10 years with the logo etc and that's what they done back in 2016 but they are trying to claim the name and the logo you know, even yeah. though they've already registered it for, uh, for the owner for Spain only yeah. no no for the, also for Europe Yes, for the full Europe. So it's registered twice? No, it's registered once yeah. in Britain under the European area. Yeah, but what the, now the two Spanish guys registered it too, too in Spain? Yes, in Spain. Yeah. And I try to say that it's their name and logo and they try to sue Vaporound for using their name and logo. But the, the then they the just have to see who registered it first, huh? Yes, well, they've obviously got the certificate of registration. Yeah, so... Because that's posted up on their Facebook somewhere, I think it was. No, I've seen it. I have got a link, but there's no point putting it in chat because chat's not Yeah, working. but I, I read what, uh, what happened and everything, but I don't understand if Vapor Round registered it first in Britain for the whole of Europe and afterwards the other two registered it in Spain and then they only have to see who was first to get I think <laughs> yes, but it still has to go to court for that to happen yeah all right <laughs> because they're soon Vapor Round the two people for Spain are soon Vapor Round for using their name and they have to take them to court uh, is it? It's so the same thing as uh, the the one from Alien Vape, the from Roswell and uh, Area Fifty One and everything. The the Alien Vape juice. He sued Smock for using the name Alien for for their devices. Yeah. Because he registered in uh, in America uh, the name Alien as a for vaping, and now he won the the trial. So. He doesn't. He also made the just naked boosters, and he doesn't do that anymore because yeah, he's in now. He won the trial from Smock for uh, the Alien mod, so <laughs> it's one of the best sell, sell, sold mods in the world. <laughs> so I, know. I think he uh, he doesn't have to work anymore. Probably not. Um, John, I don't know if we're back. I'm still having troubles getting logged into YouTube. Um, I, I can get. I still see my show running, but yeah, yours is running fine. Mine's isn't it? No. But every time I try and log into 
YouTube, it's not letting me. I keep getting an error message. Tell uh. me to log in. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to share it actually. Right, let me see if this will share. Oh, what is happening now? I don't know. You're in my screen now. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, unsure. Okay. So I think of that didn't work then. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But that's what I'm getting is that. Sorry, we couldn't log in at this time. Please try again later. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. blah blah blah. Just let us la wrap it up for today. Get the early beds <laughs> for once. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. I can't close my show until I can log into YouTube. Oh, that's not good. Because <laughs> <laughs> for some reason it doesn't stop the broadcast. It just keeps it going. Can't you stop it from uh, OBS? If I stop the stream in OBS, my YouTube stops. No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I always have to go in and tell YouTube the show's finished. Mm. Stop. But all right. Somewhere like mine, so I'm not really caring. I can run for 24 hours if I want. <laughs> I can, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if yours is still running. Um, I don't know. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Because uh. I've just summed it up. Um. Yeah. It's saying I have to sign into chat, but I'm signed in. <laughs> I can't watch two screens at this laptop. <laughs> but yeah, that's running. <sighs> yeah, the joys of YouTube, eh? Yeah. <laughs> um. Alright, not a lot to say anymore. <laughs> um, are you on the Planet of the Vapes forum? What? Are you on Planet of the Vapes forum? No, I'm not on one forum. <laughs> ah, not, not, right. I, I just started now my Patreon, my vape tube is a, a little bit going now. Everything at a time. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, or else it's too much. Uh, now I'm already stressed out from all the social media things. <laughs> ah. Oh my. Nah, because they're doing a charity raffle and yeah. they're waiting for items oh. to raffle off. So the stuff that I've got left from a 750 sub giveaway, which wasn't given away, I'm yeah. just going to send to them. Alright. Put in the charity raffle. I'm not so. Yeah, you're a good person. <laughs> I know. I'm not. I was saying to be just grabbing everything off the shelves up there. Yeah. In all the boxes and just put a name in but some of them are used used uh, and I wouldn't uh, like to probably receive them <laughs> because they're that old they're about two year old okay yeah but for charity it's all everything is good huh? yeah well so I'm, I'm not so good in charity <laughs> 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 it's not a nice thing to say but mm, I'm not so good in it Maybe later. <laughs> ah. Um. I'm still not getting signed into this YouTube. Still not linked in? No. If I can get signed in, I can then close it down. Stop the yeah. stream. I have to get signed in first. I can stop my stream already. <laughs> I can't. Eh? <laughs> um. Sorry, man, sir. Me say it a bit all. Cause I go onto my YouTube page, and then whenever I quick to go to any other page on it, like the video manager, yeah. it comes up saying, um, "Sign in." <laughs> I'm still signed in. I've got no problems. 
No, I can't get signed in. That's not good. <laughs> oh no. Um Right, wait a minute. Uh grab my phone. I wonder if I can sign in through my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We shall In see. Interesting television. <laughs> yeah. Get Mark login into YouTube. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> hey, a studio. Come on. Unable to access a Google product. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't even get logged on on my phone. Not even on your phone? No. Alright. Um, and if you close down OBS all the way down, doesn't your stream stop then? No. Okay. I have to manually stop it. Okay. I can get on to my YouTube page. Yeah. Right. And when I click the Create a studio or yeah. customize channel. And when it eventually decides to work. Right. No, my creative studio doesn't work either. And that's what I'm done. <laughs> yeah, same with me. I just tried to uh, go to my creative studio and it doesn't work either. No. So I'm going to try <laughs> to stop the stream and see what it does. People, good night everybody on my chat. I'm gonna yeah. try to stop my stream and see we'll what happens. We'll just call it a night. We'll yeah. just call it a night, Demi. So, yeah. thanks everybody that's come along. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, YouTube have mucked up Big Cell during our show. Didn't help the fact that Demi's computer knackered up at the start of the show. <laughs> if you're watching mine and you've still got maybe three hours of video still left, is just going to be my usual screen with the logo for the show on it. That's all it's going to be. So it'll be the one that's down there. Yeah. Um, it's going to be up for however long until YouTube decide to stop <laughs> <laughs> the streaming of this show. All right. But thanks to everybody that's come along and chatted. I know we haven't been in chat much. But you've been talking to yourselves mainly and mine. I don't know what you're saying in Demi, so I couldn't tell you about that. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, thanks for coming along. You want to say your goodbyes? And I hope everything goes well next time. We keep praying so for are. a good, crazy vape <laughs> show. Bye, right, everybody. Thanks. thanks for watching. As always, stay safe and bye just now. <laughs>